Hey guys, um, I have a lot of explaining to do, so let's um put some things into work. It's um, all right. So there has been a lot of things I wanted to tell you. So I told you all in my past videos, but this is gonna be another thing I wanted to tell you. So I'm gonna be switching over to some clips, and then after that, I'm gonna show you what I did personally before I started doing gotcha videos, okay? So, ever since I was little, I I think this was around middle school? Yeah, middle school. Around middle school, I was really bad at drawing, so I never had a lot of art experience, but I took a lot of art classes. So, around that time when I was in seventh grade, yeah, I started having a crush on somebody, and his, he was the first per person I fell in love with. And he asked me out to the Valentine's Day dance. I said yes, but I couldn't go because since I had a family emergency, I promised him we would go out for lunch instead. We did. After that, um, me and him started seeing each other a little bit, but we didn't know if we considered ourselves as a, a relationship yet, but not really. We've been dating then after that, we I figured that after three years, um, we've been dating. But then after that, he decided he wanted to be friends. So, yeah. So, around seventh grade, I was really bad at drawing. So, I started, I never actually had the cur I never had K1 the Hedgehog drawn yet. So, around that time, I was drawing, like, Sonic and Amy. But they were, like, bad pictures. Like, really bad pictures. So, I was not used to drawing so good like everyone else. So I don't have a picture to show you guys what the drawing would look like, but I decided to take some Google photos from from the Google from the Google to show you how bad my art really was, but it's not like my drawings. I'm just borrowing somebody else's, okay? So I'll, it's going to be showing what I did, what I did when I was younger. So here's a clip. Okay, you guys saw that, right? Okay, so that's how my drawings used to be like when I was in middle school. I was really, really bad. So every time I would draw Sonic and Amy, I would do their heads perfectly. I would not do outlines and all the sketching ideas. I would just go with my own idea. So along, so when I was in um, middle school, I had special ed programs, basically. So around that time, I had a lot of breaks and time to practice my drawing and everything. But I had a lot of work to do because since I wanted to pass. So, yeah. So I, I drew the feet a lot different and the hands were terrible. I would always get the faces almost right. But Sonic was a little bit tougher because I drew his quills like longer out but I didn't have I couldn't draw them like what the Sonic characters looked like though so after that I thought of an idea I decided to start my own YouTube channel this was actually the first YouTube channel I had um this was first came on the hedgehog pictures I have so here's another picture of it Now these were the drawings I did before when I was in middle school. I had so many video ideas in the past, so yeah. So the first drawing you saw was a real picture of me as Kaylin the Hedgehog. That was the first start, but my um that's not how it really happened. This is when my drawings were really, really bad. So I would say it was probably in the 30% when I first started Cave on the Hedgehog it was like 10% so 10% I was like scribbling all over um myself like on a on a copy of Amy and Sonic on Sonic X so I would take that I would take those pictures and I would scribble highlights in my hair but it's, that's not how it used to be anymore so I didn't do scribbling anymore I covered up my my bangs now but then I did scribble into the highlights and now I just do them different so the new picture that you saw was actually um that was the improvement of 40 percent actually then years ago a lot of people started doing fan art of me so here's some pictures of me in fan art 
Okay, you guys saw that, right? That was the first fan art I actually got of K1 the Hedgehog. It may be a little different than the others, but this is what it. This was what my original character really did look like. I would have a ponytail like this high up and quills right here and here and right up front. So a lot of people would confuse me as Sonic and Amy's child, which is, um, well, I would not consider myself as Sonic and Amy's child, though. I wish, <laughs> but no, 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 no. This, this is the, this is um a different story for me. So, a while I was when I first started Kane on the Hedgehog, I started as um Sonic's twin sister. But at first, people said Sonic has already has siblings, um Sonia and Manic. So, this was a different dimension, basically. So. I was the highlight twin of Sonic the Hedgehog. So he had um my older brother Jacques, he he's not a highlight either. He has a highlight twin of my older big sister, Lily the Alpha. They were highlight older twin siblings. Me and Sonic were highlights twins, but Sonic was considered as a plain Mobian because since he was born like that. So part of our royal family heritage is that two two Family members would actually uh, have twins, and a girl would take over the throne to rule the kingdom. That's where I came in. It had to be a highlight Mobian. Sonic and Jacques could not rule the kingdom. Lily couldn't because since she was a she was a werewolf from our father's heritage, it had to be a twin hedgehog. So that's where I came in. Then after that, we had Avalon. She was just born as a highlight Mobian, and she had no twin. So. Yeah. So anyway, that was the first fan art I received when I did that. And then years later, when I got into high school, I think this was around freshman year. Yeah. Freshman year, I was bullied a lot since, um, you know, seniors, juniors and sophomores would bully freshmen and tell them how lame they are and everything else. It's always part of every drama. So around that time, I actually was bullied a lot since people made fun of me and threw basketballs at me in gym class, bullied me, punched me, and pushed me in the wall. But I had some friends that helped me and the teachers were really nice. They were like a family to me. Around that time, I actually um, had another boyfriend, but things did not work out since we had a long distance relationship. So here's the new pictures that came on the hedgehog around that time. Around that time, my art skills have been getting better. So when I first started K1 the Hedgehog, I wanted to do some some YouTube ideas. So when when I first had my first YouTube account, um, my mom found a way to cancel it. I was so upset because I lost all my subscribers. I was just like on the bridge of starting my channel. I was like at 100 or something. So around that time, I didn't have a lot of subscribers, then so then after that I decide um since I was so mad at my mom canceling my cha my first channel I decided to she did not she did not know after three months I started up another channel and regained some of my subscribers back they were able to find me in the end and my art skills that got improved that time since um yeah and then after that i started uploading son amy videos like um picture ideas and words and everything like if you can see what i did i actually did use a lot of pictures of sonic and amy and a lot of other characters for story ideas but after that i grew tired of it in um senior year actually no junior year junior year yeah so i stopped doing that since i got tired of doing it since um I didn't have any ideas since story, since I was still working on a lot of stories and I had a lot of family issues and I was about to get ready to go to college in senior year. So there was like a lot of stressing going around and around that time I was dating someone. So things were getting really busy. So here's some things I showed you. And not long after that, after when I grew tired of doing these picture video ideas of Son Amy and everything else, I decided after when I heard that Gotcha Life was finally released, um, I decided to move on and decided to do Gotcha Life videos now. At first, I started doing Gotcha Studios. It was 
a very terrible thing. I didn't like it that much. Then I went to Gotchaverse. Um, not very good. It was the start of my first idea when I started watching gotcha videos on YouTube. I wanted to do a Hey Child who was the long lost princess. But then after that, there were so many video ideas of those. So I decided to stop doing that because I felt like copying everyone, but everybody has different ideas of the videos though. So I stopped doing that and I moved on for something else. Then after that, Gotcha Club was finally released. I had so many new ideas. I was starting to learn how to use a lot of ideas, animations, videos, um, recording screens, a lot. I've been learning a lot since I started watching Gotcha videos and then I realized how much Gotcha tubing was so much fun, so I decided to do it. So a lot of story ideas were written down in my Wattpad, and a lot of people don't read my stories, but I had a lot of ideas. Then a couple months ago, um, Gotcha Club was finally released since we had so many new stuff, new heads, new hairstyles, blah, 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 etc. We had so many new things, even more slots so we can save our characters. I... I moved on from, I still use Gotcha Club once in a while, and then I started using Gotcha Life more. But it was getting stressful since I had to do a lot of work, but it was worth it because I wanted to have a good career. I was very good at video making and other things. So after when I found out that I could do better, that's when I decided to stop doing Sonic videos like um, the story ideas and decided to move all of that into the gotcha stories since I could put Sonic, Amy, anyone else into the videos and write my own stories once in a while. Sometimes I would want to write stories about me because since I have like lots of different timeline ideas since there were so many di different versions of me. So that's how it all started, guys. So... If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!